everybody, it's Julie, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. Today is Tuesday, August 21st, and um, I have a friend walking by. Sorry, we're dog sitting. Um, so we have another pup in here. I don't think she is tall enough to be seen on the camera. Anyway, um, Tuesday, August 21st, floss tube number 26. Where'd all my hair go? Um, I got my hair cut on Saturday. Um, I was ready for a change and I did want a shortcut. However, this is a lot shorter than I told her. So I like it. I'm looking in the, I'm looking in my like playback mirror. I like it. I do like it. It's a good cut. I like it. However, the picture I showed her was, you know, probably like here-ish. She was off a couple inches there. Um, it'll grow out and it's fine. It's it's fine. I like it. Whatever. It's, it's weird. I like it, but it's not what I asked for. So I'm like... So I feel like I just need to like wear it a, a sign that says like, Thanks, it's shorter than I wanted. Because, you know, everybody's like, oh my gosh, your hair, it's so sassy, oh my gosh. And I'm like, thanks, thank you. But I just need to just be like, thanks, whatever. Thanks, that's all I need to say. Um, But um, I do like it. I do like it, it's just shorter than I wanted. And um, I also need to learn how to style it. I mean, I think I did okay, but I need to like play with it. All I've done so far is like a flat iron waves with my chi flat iron. So I need to see what it looks like with curling iron. Whatever, it doesn't matter. That's enough about my hair. Ooh. I am not like heartbroken that it's too short. I know some people would be very upset. I used to... Um, like all through high school, I wore my hair about maybe a little a little shorter than this. It was usually about chin length. I had the posh bob, the posh spice bob, um, for pretty much all of high school. Mm -hmm. Um, and traditionally, I wouldn't let it get much longer than shoulder length. And then, um, my favorite hairstylist like moved to Texas and I couldn't find someone I liked and I just started going longer and longer in between haircuts because I was always unhappy and my hair ended up getting really like really growing out. I've had it down to like <laughs> below my boobs um, and then I'll cut it to like here and then it'll get long and I'll cut it to here and finally I was just ready for a change so okay. What was that? Five minutes of rambling about my hair? Let's move on. Um, I forgot in my last video, so I had a list of all these new people I'd been watching on Flasstube and I forgot my list. So this is, I said I would talk about it in this video. So this is my list from last Flasstube plus who I've watched since. This list is like astronomically long because this is like all the new people I've watched in the last month. And I don't usually get a chance to watch that many new people. I'm usually running a little bit behind on my faves, but um, every once in a while I'll, I'll get caught up and um, I'll go find a new person and I'll watch them. Whether it's someone who commented on my video and asked me or a lot of times like on Instagram, I follow a lot of people on Instagram and they'll post something like new flash tube up and I'll be like, I didn't know they had a flash tube and I'll go watch them. So, um, anyway, lots of people, lots of people I've been watching in addition to all my usual people. Um, so first this sounds so funny cause I've been watching her for like over a month now. Um, so it's funny to like mention this, like a new person who's not new now to me. Um, but Betsy bird stitcher, Colorado, I think she's had three videos now. So, Betsy is, um, I, we've been following each other on Instagram for a while and then she finally took the plunge into floss tube and Betsy is actually a local stitcher to me. Um, she lives maybe like maybe 20 minutes away. So we do need to meet up and 
and hang out. And we have the exact same taste in patterns. Like everything she stitches, I either want to stitch or I have stitched or um, I didn't know about and now I need to stitch. Uh, we we have we have very similar tastes. So um, Betsy is someone you should absolutely go check out. Um, she did so good. Like she just like jumped in and was like, I feel like such a natural. So um, Bird Stitcher Colorado, if you haven't already seen her, run on over. And um, then, uh, oh my gosh, I can't like, I can't give a blurb about all of these because there's so many of them, you guys. Like, look at this list. All these people. Like, we can't talk for minutes about all of them. But I wanted to give Betsy a super special shout out because she's awesome. She's local. And she's doing my snooty parrot Sal with me. So, um, okay. I also watched um, Carrie and Stitches. But I've been watching Carrie for months now. But like my last floss tube or one before that, she was like, hey, go check me out. And I, I, I've I, been watching her. I just don't always comment. I'm not always good about leaving a comment. So I just wanted to give you a special shout out, Carrie. Um, I started watching Heather. Link is my homeboy. Um, I've been watching Daphne. Her channel is Mama Metzger. I've been watching Stitch and Mommy, who is, has apparently been around forever and you all like already know all about her but somehow I I've missed her floss tube this whole time um I've been watching stitching Sarah I've been watching Misty Purcell I started watching to die house D-Y-E I think that I think her name's Lisa um stitchy in Colorado is a new floss tube channel I think they have three up it's a mom and son duo and they're local-ish to me. I think they're in, I want to say they're in Golden, which is a little further south, but not that far from me by any means. Um, and I am really enjoying their channel a lot. Um, so check them out if you haven't already. Jennifer Upton, been around a while, I know. I'm, I'm behind, guys. Um, Stitching with a Dachshund, Annette's Acre, Broadway Stitcher. Oh my god. Okay, I know, I said I, I can't give a blurb about all of these, but I have to tell you guys about Broadway Stitcher. I was following her on Instagram already because I the name Broadway, like she had me, sold. And then um, she started doing floss tube. You guys have to go check out her floss tube. Her name is Carmen. She lives in New York City. She goes to Broadway shows all the time. It's awesome. She tells you about all the shows she's going to. It's so great. It's so great. And she is so informative. Like she does her research and she gives you like really good, like just educational information about random things like from Broadway shows to just New York City stuff. She is, um, she's going on location and like taking you to places around New York City and like taking you there. It's so cool. Um, I lived in New York City for a while in college. I actually went to NYU for a couple of years, so that's been 15 years ago, so it's a long time. Gosh, that's actually super crazy to think it was 15 years ago that I was there, because it feels like five years ago maybe. But anyway, I used to live there, so it's really fun to see like her go to places that I know and that I've been to, and it's just so cool. Her channel's great. Um, and like I said, she gives you a lot of information about things that I really, truly appreciate. Like, I learn something when I watch her. Um, and then I also watched Handmade, Busy Lizzie Stitches, and Stitching Donna. Now, I will try to link all of those below if anyone wants to go check those out, since I'm not, like, spelling out all their channel names and stuff. So, um, I'll try to put those in the box below. I know I don't normally do that, but I totally know how to do that. I just am lazy, so I'll start doing that. So if you want some new floss tubers to watch, I got a big list there. Okay, haul. Just a little haul, like usual, because you all know I'm on a budget. So I only haul a little bit. Um. <laughs> So I was on the Reddit cross stitch forum. I don't, I just lurk there here and there and I don't go there often because um, 
my taste in, in cross stitch runs more towards the stuff I find on Instagram and the stuff I find on the Facebook groups like Stitch Mania. Um, the Reddit cross stitch forum I feel like is a little bit more like beginner friendly and so I don't know it's not always like super interesting to me some of the patterns are just a little simple for my taste um, and they do tend to lean heavily on like the Etsy patterns um, that said I do lurk there I do check them out I check in once a week or so and I have found patterns for sure through that that forum that I didn't know about and then I have to go buy and the beautiful thing about that is Etsy patterns are almost always so cheap. Like most of them are under $5 or so. Some are a little more, but even so they're so cheap that it's like, I just, I go, I click buy. It's in my email immediately. It's very, it's very tempting. So anyway, someone on the forum posted their finished piece of this pattern. I love anything Star Wars. I had not seen this one. It's by, um, the Etsy shop is called Natalie Needlework, but it's Natalie without an E on the end. So N-A-T-A-L-I Needlework. It could be Natali. Um, so anyway, someone posted that they had stitched this and I was like, yes, me please. So I ran over there and I saw other patterns I liked too on her, on her page. And then she was having like a buy two, get one free. And I think these were only like five bucks anyway. So I had to get two more. So I got this one. <laughs> Michelle Bendy, you're going to love this one. It's Han and Leia. I love you. I know. And then I got, um, this is a bad picture of this one. It's really way cooler, I promise. It's Darth. So on the, on the Etsy site, she stitched it on this fabric that is like this crazy, like rainbow colored cloud burst. So like all of this part right here is like this cool fabric that's like bursting, like bursting out that way. And then this is all like black and gray and all that. It is a lot of stitching. I'm not going to lie. It's a little intimidating. But I looked at it really closely. It's totally doable. Like, first of all, you stitch Darth, of course, and then you stitch the the Death Star and like some of this little like junk here, and then it's just all black. It's just black, black, black. So if you just stitch your landmarks, then it's just fill, filling and filling and filling, which is awful. <laughs> But it's also cool because then if you ever need to do something like mindless or something in the car where you just don't want to be like trying to follow a chart really closely, as long as you've like stitched your landmarks, it's just black fill in. So I thought that'd be cool. So I bought those three. No plans to start those anytime soon. I love all three of them. Um, but you all know I got so many whips. I don't need to start more stuff. So someday. Those are in the someday pile. And that was my haul, really. I was, see, I was good. I was restrained. I did have to haul one other thing because I have a pattern I wanted to start. And so I had to get fabric for it. So I did make an order from 123 Stitch for a piece of linen. Um, so let me just, I'm not really going in any order today, but let me jump ahead and show you what I'm doing. Okay. I'm in the mood for fall stitching, Halloween stitching, even though it's still summer, I'm totally in the mood for that. Uh, so I was looking through my patterns, my fall and Halloween patterns, and I got this one not very long ago. It's the Primitive Needle Witch's Hollow. I got it at my thrifty, my craft thrift store. The price I paid for it is shameful. Because I had no, I, I bought it because I liked it. And then um, Diane, Diana, it is Kismet Stitches, was like, dang girl, like that was a crazy find. Do you know what those go for on eBay? I was like, no, I have no idea. 
I'm thinking like, I don't know, like 30 bucks or something. So I go and look. These sell for like about $100, $110 because you can't get them. So um, I had no idea it was worth that much. I, I bought it because I liked it. But um, I, I feel guilty. I feel guilty that it's just sitting here because I know there are people who would love to have this pattern, would love to stitch this pattern, and can't get their hands on it. And so I thought, I, I'm going to, I'm just going to make a point to do this project like sooner. Like I'm just, I'm going to start it. I'm going to do it so that I can then get the chart to someone else who really wants to stitch it. Um, so the story about the primitive needle, I don't know if you all, I mean, I know a lot of you would know. Um, the lady who, um, who was the primitive needle tragically passed away in a flash flood. Um, I think I'm, I'm almost sure I re her daughter had left a post on her blog. I think she was in her car driving and she got swept away on a bridge or, or some, in some kind of water. Um, it was totally unexpected. Her name was Lisa. Um, really sad story. And I think that was in, was it 2015? It wasn't very long ago. Um, and I was looking through her blog because I wanted to see better pictures of this because this is just kind of a little picture. Um, it was so sad because she was posting, like she was getting ready to go to market. It was, you know, time for Nashville market. And she was so excited and she had new patterns she was going to release and she was so, so looking forward to it. And then this tragic accident happened. So it was really sad. Um, but because of that, her patterns are really hard to come by. Um, it looks like, you know, her family didn't take over like her business and releasing her patterns. And so what was out there is what was out there and, and they're hard to come by now. Um, so again, I want to get this stitch so that someone else can do it. Um, that said, I really desperately want to stitch her pattern called Blacked Sky. Emily from Eclectic Possessions stitched it. Um, I really want to stitch that pattern and it goes for about the same price that this one does on eBay. And I'm just not going to pay that for a pattern. I'm just not. So if anyone would like to, I wouldn't say trade necessarily, but maybe loan. Like if one of you has black sky and you really want to stitch this one, maybe after I'm done stitching it, we can like swap and then swap back. Um, I don't know that I want to let this go, but I, I do want to, I think that might be the only way I'm going to get my hands on black sky. So if anyone's got that pattern, hit me up. Let me know. Um, okay. So, so fabric, this calls, that's what I had to buy because I didn't have it. This is a huge pattern. It's 197 by 395 stitch count. Now that said, it's not full coverage, tons of little motifs. So I think it'll stitch up a lot faster than you would, than it would sound with that stitch count. But I need a big old piece of fabric for it. Um, so I decided, I, I was looking at it, it calls for vintage pair, Lakeside Linens, vintage pair. And I wanted something a little funkier than that. So I decided on murky, picture this plus murky. So I got the 40 count and this fabric is so amazing. I know you all have out there have a lot of love for murky. Um, it's awesome. It's gorgeous. It's grungy and dirty. I don't know if there's any difference on with picture this plus I feel like both sides die well. Like I don't I don't necessarily think one side is superior. I'll take a look before I start, but I thought this would fit, I thought this fit the pattern well. So the other thing about this pattern, great googly moogly, the floss list. It's uh, almost all weeks dye works and like a couple of gentle arts, like maybe three gentle arts and the four gentle arts and the rest are weeks. 
Look at this loss list, you guys. Ugh. Yeah, it was still going. Still going. So I went through my stash and I was shocked actually to find I have 15 of those flosses already. That was more than I would have guessed. Looking at the list, I was like, I might have like five. I have 15 of them. So I grabbed those out, of course. So they're just, you know, fall, fall colors, I would say. And then I went to one through one, two, three stitch and was like, okay, like what let me see what the rest would cost me I put the rest that I was missing in my cart it was like $55 I was like oh my god I can't I cannot do that right now so it's okay I think I have enough to get started um and then I will kind of just buy as I need the other thing is I'm thinking because I'm I'm doing something really different with the fabric I very well might need to swap colors out. You know, something that shows up on Vintage Pair may not show up on here. I'm, I feel pretty confident that everything will show up, but you know, there's always that chance that something just doesn't show up at all and I have to swap it entirely. And then I'm gonna be mad I spent all that money on floss and not be able to use it all. So um, I'm gonna kind of play it by ear, I guess. As I go, I might... Um, you know, I might have to sub something. I really want to stay true to the pattern though. So I don't want to sub if I don't have to. Like, I'm not going to plan to sub everything. I do think in the end I will acquire almost all of these flosses. Um, unless they just straight up do not work with the fabric. So anyway, next video I'm hoping you'll see my start because I'm really itching to get to this. I might start it like tomorrow or something I don't know um okay I feel like I talked about that forever so whips whips are next mm. I only have two whips um so the first one is my Barbara Anna snooty parrot Sal I started that on August 1st and I stitched on it for I believe I stitched on it until the 17th or 18th or something so I've got almost three weeks in it this is what it looks like oh all right there's a glare now if y'all remember I'm changing I'm changing the saying not because there's anything wrong with the saying there's nothing wrong with the saying I just I don't know. I felt inspired. I wanted to do something different. So I really thought about it for way too long. Um, I was able to get started. I started up in the left corner. So I was able to just start stitching without having decided yet what I wanted to do with that. Um, and I thought and thought, I thought about my favorite movies, my favorite band. I looked at tons of song lyrics. I looked at quotes about birds famous literary quotes about birds I mean I looked at everything um and I just couldn't quite find the thing and then um, my fabric I picked is R&R &R linen stars hollow so I started to think about Gilmore Girls and I did go looking for Gilmore Girls quotes and nothing was working and I was I don't know, I was kind of getting frustrated. I just couldn't find the right thing. And then I went back and looked at Gilmore Girls again. I was like, I don't know, maybe I missed something. And I went back and I found the quote. I had looked at the quote originally and thought it was too long. But then when I actually started like charting it out, it was not too long. So I was like, that will work perfectly. So then I jumped ahead on my chart because I was so excited to stitch it. So... I started up here, I was stitching like the alphabet and working on this little flower thing. Then I jumped down and did the quote. So you guys know how words stitch up super fast, right? And this, this word 
uh, what do you call that? This section, this section, like they're the the words are like one one cross, you know, like wide. They're not like big fat words. So I thought they're gonna stitch up so fast. It took me three nights to stitch up this quote. It took way longer than I thought. Um, and I realized when I showed you this last video, I did not tell you guys what floss I was using or the fabric. I'm so sorry. It's 40 count R and R stars hollow. And I love it. It's beautiful. And here's where I'm at. So I started right here in this corner. So there is what I had done. And then I jumped down to my phrase. But, um, Oh, here. I don't think you can see that very well. Let me, <laughs> let me fold that up for you. It's a Lorelei Gilmore quote. It says, I can't stop drinking the coffee. If I stop drinking the coffee, I stop doing the standing and the walking and the words putting into sentence doing. Three days. Three days to stitch that up, y'all. Oh, I love it. I love this chart. It was not a burden to stitch on it for three weeks. I didn't want to put it down. I really didn't. But I realized I would have like nothing to show you guys in this video if this was the only thing I did. So I made myself move on. It's going to be big. This is on 40 count. And it's still this big. And it's going to go down to there. Oh, it's it's just a pleasure and stitching on 40 count is much easier than I thought. You guys all made it sound like it's just so teeny tiny, but it, I don't know, maybe I have good eyes, but it's not teeny tiny to me. Let me tell you, moving to 32 count after working on this for three weeks, I felt like I was stitching on like a huge burlap sack or something like 32 count is enormous to me now. Um, I will not abandon this for long. Um, sometimes with my, you know, I'll start something and then put it away for who knows how long. This is one, I'm hosting this Sal. I'm not going to abandon the people who are stitching it with me. I will definitely be back to this. I do want to work on a couple other things for now, but I this will be in my rotation. I will continue to work on this. Let me tell you a couple little things I want to do to change. Um... On this pattern, I want to do, uh, here's what I'm thinking, to make it more stars hollowy. <laughs> I think I never wanted to do Adam and Eve, that they were, they were going to be taken out of this pattern no matter what. I think I'm going to make that Rory and Logan with their umbrellas from the Life and Death Brigade. I don't know how to chart that, but that's what I was thinking. Or it could be Luke and Lorelai. I'm not Team Logan. I just want y'all to know that, okay? Ugh. Sorry, got a little hair. Um, I actually think Logan is like the worst. Like I do not, I don't like Logan at all. And in the reboot, I did not like that. Rory was still hooking up with him and he had a fiance. What? Girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, do you not love yourself? Love yourself. He's got a fiance. That's disgusting. No. Wow. I, I didn't mean to like talk about all my like Gilmore girls like feelings, but I just, no, I'm not team Logan. My friend is team Logan and I'm like, no, um, I don't know if I was really team anybody. Like, I wasn't really team Dean or Jess either, but then in the reboot, like, Jess comes back, and, you know, he, Jess, Milo, I cannot say his last name, Milo Ventimiglia or whatever. He plays the dad on um, um, This Is Us, and he, he got, he was, he was cute in Gilmore Girls originally, but like he got so hot. 
this is a total tangent. Anyway, in the reboot, when Jess shows up, I'm like, dang girl, like, go get them. Go get them. So, um, spoilers abound here. I hope you all have seen the reboot by now. If you haven't, stop listening. But, you know, I'm kind of hoping Jess is the dad. Like, I just, because he's so hot. Oh, I hope Jess is the dad. It's probably Logan. So, ugh, whatever. Anyway, let's move on. If you don't watch Gilmore Girls, you're probably very confused right now. So, um, I'm thinking... <laughs> Rory and Logan with their umbrellas and then I'm thinking this at first I was thinking Lorelai's house but I'm thinking gazebo stars hollow town center gazebo and then these people maybe Luke Lorelai and Rory I don't know for sure yet oh and I really want to get Paul Inca in here somewhere like one of these animals will be turned into Paul Inca. Okay. I feel like I'm so rambly today. So that was what I worked on for like three weeks. And then I had to start my Peace on Earth style. So this is what I've been working on the last three nights. I'm doing the darker version. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you. And I did this last time, so I want to make a point to tell you this time. On my snooty parrots. I am not doing the called for flosses. I converted everything to dinky dyes. But I tried to keep it all like in the, the same color, but in a silk. So I'm not like doing anything drastic. Like this is the same feel as if you did the called for. But I just found like equivalent dinky dyes. Um... And I love it. Stitching with silk is always a pleasure. Look how pretty it is, you guys. The colors are just gorge. Gorge. But I did not have a dark brown dinky dyes. So this is Gloriana Wooly Bear. I forgot to get a screen grab for my, for my YouTube caption. So, okay. So I converted that. All right, so Peace on Earth Sal. Cottage Garden Samplings, you can get this on Etsy. <clears throat> I am doing this, so this is, I've been stitching on the 40 count, so this is 32 count linen. It's called Silvery Moon. I got it like somewhere. It, you know, I think that's what it is. Maybe it's not. That's what the tag says it is. It's a really loose, loose weave it's like I don't like it really whatever I like the color of it but stitching on 32 count after that 40 count it, it feels enormous I was convinced that they had mislabeled this and it was 28 count but I got my ruler out and it does look like it's 32 count but like that's how big it felt that I was like this has to be 28 count um, I'm converting almost all of the colors. Here's where I am so far. I do very much like this one as well. I'm ready to start my house. My house right here. Or is it a barn? Maybe it's a barn. So I'm converting my colors. Um, the only one that's called for that I'm keeping is Forest Glade, Gentle Arts Forest Glade. That is this dark green through here. Everything else I'm kind of subbing out. This, this is Picnic Basket, Gentle Arts Picnic Basket. This is just DMC B52, B5200. This light green is Dried Sage by Weeks Dye Works, and the red is Licorice Red, which is, I think, is that Classic Color Works. Isn't that one of Priscilla's favorites? I think that's on Priscilla's Floss Faves. It is Classic Color Works, Licorice Red. It is really pretty. Um. So yeah, I'm changing like all the colors, but again, keeping like the theme of the color. I only am changing it because I didn't have it in my stash. I didn't want to go buy it. So 
I just used something that was similar. Uh, but I do really like this. And um, also, this is going to be a quick stitch. It's 125 by 125, but it's not full coverage. So I feel like um, this will be done before I know it. So I'll probably work on that some more today. I'm not quite ready to stop on that yet, but I do want to get Witch's Hollow started, so I'll stop on it eventually. Okay, so the only last thing I want to show y'all. Oh my God, coffee's good. What time is it? Okay, 35 minutes. I just want to show you guys my fall, my fall Halloween patterns because I went through my stash and pulled them all out because I'm in that mood. I'm ready for sweaters and Uggs and scarves and pumpkin spice. I'm not gonna stitch all these by any means. I just wanna show you guys some fall Halloween themed patterns just to get everybody excited for the season. This is Little House Needleworks, The Harvesters. I, it's adorable, right? I would not do it with the scripture I would have to change it to something else and I have no idea what and that's why it's not been started. And then I've got um, Hands to Work, my favorite primitive stitching bags. And I think that Little Witch is the cutest. Look at that. There's also like a Christmassy one. And then just a like general one. So cute. I love that little witch. I've got Not Forgotten Farms. Not Forgotten Farm Samplers. <laughs> Counting Crows. I thought that was Halloween-ish. I've got another Barbara Anna. This is the branch. Come with me all Hallows night. It almost looks like Christmas until you really start looking at it. Sorry if I'm like super shaky. Stacy Nash Primitives, the Good Witch Pen Keep. Isn't that cute? I think Andrea in Colorado, I can't remember if she said she already stitched it or if she said she does want to stitch it and we should do it together. I can't remember what she said. Um, <clears throat> oh, and then I've got Stacy Nash Primitive's Blackwater Hollow Sampler. I love this pattern, but I don't know why. I, well, I know why I haven't started it. I don't have the right fabric. I'm just waiting for that perfect fabric. I do love this. A lot. I love Stacy Nash, like everything she does. I do want Stacy Nash. Um, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, Halloween at Hollyberry Farm. I have the Christmas one. I want the summer one. I want the spring one, and I want the Halloween one. I cannot justify that right now. So someday. Um, this is Hands On Design Sunflower Manor by our own Priscilla. I mean, she designed, it's by Kathy Haberman, but like Priscilla designed the, <laughs> you guys know it's a collaboration. Um, I've got, this is another favorite that I've tried to like pull out to start so many times, but I never have the right fabric. It's Blackbird Designs Away We Ride. And it's bigger than it looks. It looks like it's a kind of a little thing, but it's actually really big. And so I, Never have the right fabric. I'm going to get the fabric someday and I'm going to do it. I do love that one. I also have, um, so these are ones I've actually started. So I'm more likely to probably do these. Kaniki's Prims. Uh, this is called Raven Moon Nevermore. And there's a terrible picture of it. And I have a tiny start. This was a Stitch Mania start. doesn't even look like anything don't worry there's my start <laughs> I think this is weak style works straw
And then I've got Plum Street Samplers, Jack's Bash. God, I love this one. I do love this one. Someone on Instagram's been working on this, and I'm like, I want to get it back out. It's so pretty. I got a pretty good start on this, too. This is on um, 36 count uh, platinum. <clears throat> See, I got a good start, right? I love this one. I did not want to put it down last year when I was stitching on it. I did not want to put it down. And then I've got, um, ooh, this one would not take me long to finish up. This is Pineberry Lane because I love Pineberry Lane so much. And this is Autumn on Marigold Lane. And Lisa Kindred Stitcher said she wanted to stitch this one with me. Isn't that pretty? And I've got it started. It's a Vintage Light Exemplar 36 count that I started it on. That's all the further I got. It was a Stitch Mania start, so I only worked on it for one day. I've got Primitive Hair Lizzie Borden. Also a Stitch Mania start. This is fabric I dyed myself. That chart also would not take much to finish. Okay, my last one is Rosewood Manor Autumn Quakers. Gorgeous. So called for 28 count. I don't love 28 count, but you know, I'm stitching it with the Valdani, the little balls. Um, 28 count, picture this plus doubloon. And I did not get very far on this one either. But it's so pretty. Those are really pretty to stitch with. All right, so there's some fall Halloween stitching to inspire you all. That's all I've got for today. I cannot wait to get to play on some of these projects and show you where I'm at next time. I'm really excited about the things I'm stitching right now. I can't wait to start Witch's Hollow um, and just get more progress on my other, on my Snooty Parrots and show you guys what I'm doing there. So um, until next time, I hope you all are well. I'll see you soon. Bye.